Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I am going to showcase a, a tool I developed a few days ago. I found out that uh, while using Data Create View from scratch, uh, you really have to do a lot of customizations and change a lot of properties. And most of the times we tend to forget. Yeah, so uh, this tool will... Uh, style an existing data create view in your form you just drop it and it will sh give you a visual designer that will help you uh, choose the colors and uh, and font and uh, other properties in a very short time and uh, from that you can use the same template across all the, the forms in the project so uh, as you can see from the video i have a new wind forms and I've dragged a data create view with columns. So uh, I'm trying to choose a theme for the form. So I'm changing the background color, sorry. Let's re reset the for color to white. Okay, now we have the data create view. So go to dgv, dot, uh, DGV styler. You'll find it on your toolbox after you install the NuGet package. And you can see there is a representation of the data create view. So, uh, you, you can change the font color or the background color by double clicking on the respective uh, row or the header so right now i'm choosing the header color for this uh, for for this data grid view so let's choose i think it's still okay as you can see there the, we have official representation of uh, how our data grid view will look like so you can set the fonts there and uh, also change the four color so we can choose something like white okay so you can see there uh, so the second row is uh, the default cell style so let's choose a, a background color for, for that row and it should match the, the the form also okay we are, we will input the values in rgb form based on the template or the color palette i have chosen sorry that color is quite off let's check it out okay double click and then uh okay yeah so it's instead of 81 i wrote 41 okay let's see if it will fix the situ okay perfect that one well, matches the the interface okay so the alternating row color so just uh, input your rgb values if you have a, a custom color and then click ok perfect so the third row is uh, the selection style so for this you have a choice to change the four color and uh, and also the background color only you don't have to change the font for the selection okay that one works so when you close the form you'll see automatically your data grid view has adapted the new colors so let's write some code to input fake data on our data grid view so we can have a full look and feel of the new style okay so let's change the background color for the data grid view to match the form color so copy paste there save some time okay perfect so we can run the program and we see how it will look like okay you see so this is a our new data grid view fully styled uh, you don't really have to master all these properties simply use this tool and it will save you a ton of time a lot of time so uh, we can play with the other colors here Let's change the color to be something close to purple. So find the same tool, drag and drop. Find a, okay, that one will work. Perfect. Run the program. 